the type of litter you know something very 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 simple as what material that you're going to use for the chicken fro can it influence the performance of your chickens and we're going to see as we discuss in this scientific report i'm going to show you how that happens and because we have always been told that to make our chickens grow much bigger we have to give them the best feeds also we can also give them growth promoters but something as simple as the type of litter can influence the growth of your chickens because some litter may make your chickens to be comfortable so it will move freely other litter may make you know may reduce the chances of disease build up at the chicken floor which may end up impacting the performance of your chickens and we want to see the you know how this type of litter impacts the chicken growth so we are going to review this report on the effect of what I've said that's it there and you know this is a very very interesting report because most farmers usually use the sawdust and wood shavings at, as the most commonly available type of litter in commercial chicken production and this is because you know the choice of litter might be because of the high cost you know the cost of that litter the availability of that litter you know in your area and among other factors and you should know that the type of litter that you're going to have is going to impact the performance of your chickens and the disease buildup which may end up attacking the immunity of your chickens. So, what makes a good litter? A good litter should be able to dry up very very fast after water has just spilled on the floor. And this litter should be able to absorb all that moisture and this water may come from the drinkers and also also from the droppings of your chickens so that type of litter should be able to absorb that moisture very very fast also it to be it should be comfortable and soft and compressible more compressible because when the when the litter is so hard the chicken may end up having bulb of food so having a soft litter may reduce chances of bubble foot disease infection and so we have seen what makes a good litter and also a good litter may reduce the chances of ammonia build up which may end up making your chickens have ascites and other type of disease because of ammonia build up so let us review this report and able to see how it was done and what was the result so that you can copy that and apply that at our farms because this channel we surely do such kind of videos reviewing scientific reports on poultry farming and i've started a new program whereby you can get five best reports because on a week i usually review at least 50 scientific reports on poultry farming so i'll be just giving you five best which i find each and every week and you can get that straight to your email address for free sign up at the at the link on the description for free sign up for the link in the description so let's continue and the first time here please subscribe my name is dominic an animal scientist or a para veterinarian i usually review this kind of things so what they used is that they used lice hull or lice husk as the litter material the other type of litter that they used is wood shaving which most farmers usually use so we want to find out if what you usually use is the best or if there is an other alternative that you can apply and even get better results the other material that they use is the is 50 percent lice husk and 50 percent paddy straws so you have seen that the first one you have seen this lice husk and then a mixture of lice hulls and paddy straws both 50 percent 50 percent and wood shaving so for that one they had three chicken houses and they had a sample of chickens to test that out so and they also they had 400 chickens to test that out in a period of 42 days and during this period they were taking several results which are going to help us see what impact did this different type of litter have on our chickens and we are going to start on the weekly body weight gain so let us check this table and see what how did different type of data affect the body weight gain and we have this table and we have a graph and let's let's check on the graph let's check the graph so this is the body weight after this period of time the body weight and we can see that 
from day zero they were about 44 as we can see here 44 45 grams on day zero and uh, and you can see that the tc is the wood shaving the m and then the t mix is the mixture of paddy straws and lice hull and the ws with a t is wood shaving yeah it's wood shaving let me confirm that for you yeah it's wood shaving so let us find out that so we can see that they, they, they were almost having the same same results but as the days were going now the difference was coming to be shown very 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 clearly using these bar graphs and we can see that by the end of the 35 weeks or 30, uh, 35 wow five weeks or that five days the one which had the mixture of those paddy straws and lice hulls had the chicken of that group had the highest weight and you can see that they had 2.5 kilograms 2.5 kilograms and by the end of the day you can see that the one that had lice hull had the worst had the worst weight gain or body weight that group and you can see the second one is is the is the wood shaving which is somehow good you can see it's somehow acceptable levels so let us check other factors what us let us check the feed intake maybe the different type of litter can influence what amount of feeds are this chicken going to eat and we can see the let us just check the overall yeah you can see that they almost the one which had the lice hull ate more compared to the you know compared to this other so that somehow I can have a theory that those chickens maybe they were not comfortable standing so they were eating more and uh, yeah so, so for example if you are standing on a very very hard place and and that place is not comfortable you try to move along to see how you can get comfortable and doing that you'll end up losing a lot of energy and that will end make you eat more so I think that's how the chickens which had lice hull or lice husk as their litter were able to eat more but the ones which were which had lice hull 50 percent and paddy straws 50 percent were a bit comfortable so they did not have to move around to be comfortable so they ended up eating less so we can see how the amount of litter or type of litter that you have at your chicken house can impact how your chickens will feed it is very very interesting that's that's why i like scientific reports which have data that can clearly show us what you know what happens so that when you apply that you have confidence that this thing is going to work for you so let us check the food the feed conversion ratio and for this one when you know it's already one point maybe 1.5 and 1.6 and for that one the one with the highest amount of value has the worst feed conversion ratio because it's a ratio it is of this compared to this so let us check the overall. Also, we can see that the one which had lice hull had the worst feed conversion ratio, and the one which which had sawdust and the mixture had, you know, among the best feed conversion ratio. Yeah, which is very very important. So that this will make our chicken able to convert all the feeds and able to grow much more faster and produce more. Even if you're keeping layers chicken, all indigenous chicken and yeah, all those kind of chickens, even turkeys, yeah. So what is the conclusion? As we have said that the feed conversion ratio for the one which had mixture had the best feed conversion ratio and that ended up having the best weight gain and body, final body weight gain and the, yeah, all of that. This is the, the weight gain was how much higher in the one which had a mixture. So you can see how the amount of, you know, the type of litter and how it affects it, you know you know the way it affects the performance of your chickens this was a very very interesting report that i've that I found very very interesting to share with you and thank you so much for watching and subscribe to this channel more videos coming like this one let's see you tomorrow bye